It seems to happen earlier every year. <laughs> uh, Sunday, and overnight into Monday, we had our first snow. This is Tuesday morning now, and most of it has melted. It'll all be gone by tomorrow night, Wednesday night, I should think, because we're supposed to have 13 degrees tomorrow. But anyway, our coldest so far has been zero, and that was last night. So I think it is time to face the facts. Winter's on its way. I'm going to finish bringing in what's left in the in the hoop house. Well, this vegetable harvest is displayed on top of my garlic bed with its covering of snow. I picked the very last of the cauliflower, and it looks like I'll be pickling cauliflower tonight, I guess, or starting the process. It's a two-day process. Um, I won't bother to do a video, but I'll put a link here somewhere. Um, I did a video last year on what I do to pickle cauliflower, so I won't bother repeating myself. In the bowl, uh, there are several kinds of chilies, I guess. Well, not really. These are the, um, what do you call them, the big bomb cherry chilies, which I really like. I even found one of my sweet green chilies that was still okay to pick, and the last of those little cherry tomatoes. It really hurt me having to cut down all those nice pepper and chili plants. I toyed with the idea of bringing some inside, and I thought, no, I'll do that, and I'll bring in some kind of an infestation. So they're on the compost heap, plants that I started almost 11 months ago. Uh, they were, the seeds were planted the 9th of December last year. And this basket has a mixture of the uh, Thai chilies and the uh, cayenne chili peppers. I was going to hang these things up by the bottoms and you know, the whole plant and dry the chilies, but that turned out to be not such a great idea. Uh, as I was picking them, cutting them down, the ripe ones were just falling off, so I assumed they would have been all over the floor. So I harvested them and they will go in the house on window screens. To, to dry. I also plan to offer seeds for the Thai chilies on David's uh, Work for Nature channel, uh, Work with Nature channel. Anyway, he has a seed saving, a heritage seed saving site. I'll put a link up for that. I offer some of my uh, blue potted pea seeds on there currently, but I plan to offer the uh, Thai chili seeds as soon as they're dry and ready. So if you want to go subscribe to that site, there'll be seeds available sometime later this fall. And that is my third crop of beets, which didn't turn out to be all that stellar. But uh, I threw, actually, some of them I've thrown away. They were far too small to bother with. But these are the larger ones that, uh, well, they'll be baby beets, I guess. They will be It'll be nice. I'll cook them and have some of those for dinner this evening. Well, I'll give you a look around at what I've done inside of the hoop house. Well, about the only thing left in here to harvest is the cabbage. I'm still hoping that they'll hit up a little better and I'll get something out of them. Uh, the uh, cold frame, whatever you want to call it, my strange contraption is laying over on its side because I haven't stood it up to cover over the Claytonia and mash or mash or uh, corn salad, whatever you want to call it. Also, my broadleaf parsley, Italian parsley, and the uh, uh, salad, the, the celery salad greens are still doing very well in here. And evidently, it hasn't been cold enough to bother them, so I'm still harvesting that and using it. I'll give you a little close up of the Claytonia and the mesh. I haven't done anything much as far as thinning them. I did sort of separate some of the Claytonia and spread it around. They're still very small plants. And I just picked out a few of the uh, corn salad plants and stuck them in places where nothing came up. Planted three rows of the seed and two rows came up and the third row really nothing. There's one or two little seedlings came up in it. But anyways, we're supposed to have some relatively warm nights for the next few nights so I still won't put the cold frame up over it. But the next time that it's forecasting below freezing, that's what I will do. I will cover it up and hope for the best, hope that something is still alive and comes back to life in the spring. Well, looking back up the other way toward the door, the fig tree on the left, the far left-hand side, you might be able to see the twiggy thing sticking up. 
has already dropped all of its leaves and the one on the right still has the majority of its leaves but it only takes one cold night and boom they're on the ground so my next video I will be showing how I'm going to cover those this year I've bought something a little special I think to go over them and uh, last year I had one heat tape this year I'm going to have one for each tree so we'll look at that the next time I put up, post a video probably off to the right here is the area where all of those pots of uh, grow bags and whatever of chilies and peppers were and that is going to be a raised bed in the spring uh, possibly three feet wide two feet wide anyway but I think I can probably get a three foot wide bed in there and all of these beds in here are 16 feet long so one more bed and I have plenty of soil outside to, to fill the bed all of the things that I grew in the smart pots and grow bags and whatever this summer is all piled up in one heap outside well thank you for watching that concludes this little video and I will try to remember to put a link down below to uh, David's uh, heritage seed saving site and to last year's video on the pickled cauliflower.